Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be doing part two of my living room makeover. If you have not watched part one, I will leave a link to that video in the description below. In that video, I created a custom entertainment center. I got some new furniture, we made some DIYs, and in today's video, we are going to be finishing this space. Now, I have not gotten much done. The scaffolding has been sitting there for a month because I figured I could at least finish hanging the curtains. I have not. These frames, I did hang them up, but they are sitting empty for a month now. So we need to put some artwork on them. And also my coffee table is still half painted. <laughs> now I did actually finish the entertainment center because you know, my family wanted the TV back, but it still needs to be decorated. So we're gonna work on that. We are also going to be doing a little refresh and the breakfast nook and the foyer area that you can see from this room because y'all, it is March and I still have Christmas decorations up. So we're gonna deal with all of those things. I figured we would start with the projects that are half done and finish those. So I'm gonna hang the curtains, I'm gonna put some artwork up on the walls and we're gonna finish painting this coffee table. So let's get those things done and then we will move on to the other projects. For my curtains, I am using drop cloths that I got from Walmart. You just wanna make sure you buy all your panels at the same time to make sure all the colors are the same because sometimes they do vary. And I am just attaching them to some ring clips that are ordered off of Amazon. I'll make sure to put a link to all the products that I use in the description below. I did not wash these drop cloths because I was worried they would shrink too much. And I also did not cut them. I just folded them over, but I hung it so that the ruffle was in the back. Now, if you want more of a shabby chic look, you could hang it where your ruffle goes in the front. I got these picture frames from Walmart. They were about $13 each and I thought the lighter frame would look really good. And they also have the plastic, not the glass. I've been trying to get all plastic frames. I just feel like that's a better option with four kids. I'm making my own mats for the pictures just using regular white poster board. And I really wanted to put artwork in these pictures, not family pictures, because I had just put a bunch of family pictures in my hallway. So I ended up getting these digital downloads from Country Lane Living on Etsy. Y'all, they have so many beautiful prints to choose from and it is very affordable. I wanted something that I could keep up for spring and summer, so I chose these cute little rabbits and these beautiful landscapes, and my plan is to get four new ones to put up for the fall and winter time. And you just download them, and then you go print them wherever you like to get your pictures printed. I just got them printed at Walgreens, and they look beautiful. I actually like them so much that I ordered me another landscape print to put over my TV and I'm going to show y'all that a little bit later in the video and I'll be sure to have the specific prints that I used in my living room makeover in the description below. All right, on to the coffee table. If y'all remember, I purchased this from the thrift store for $30 and it looks like something chewed on these wooden handles. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove them and replace them with something else. I am using the Country Chic paint in the color crinoline. In the previous video, I painted half this coffee table and then I ran out of paint. So I ordered some more and I'll have a link in the description below. So I'm gonna put two coats of paint on here then I'm just going to lightly distress the whole piece with 220 grit sandpaper. I just want to smooth out the paint and just kind of distress the edges slightly. I am not going to seal this piece because this paint actually has a built-in sealer. I decided to go with black card catalog pulls on here and I think it was a perfect choice. I absolutely love how this coffee table came out. Y'all look what i found at an estate sale can you believe that i found this when i started this video i did not have this piece and i found it now i paid almost 600 dollars for it but i think it is so worth it it is absolutely perfect for the space i love how tall it is originally i wanted a pie safe in here but i'm so glad i found this instead because it just makes the room 
feels so much bigger. It's like very grand and very beautiful and I ain't gonna lie, it makes me feel a little bit more fancy. I'm gonna fill up the glass shelves with some pretty things and some vintage quilts that I have. I decorated the top already without y'all. I just couldn't wait. As soon as I got her in here, I had to start putting stuff up there. And I decorated all the way to the ceiling because I think the higher you decorate, the bigger your room feels, the taller your room feels. And then right here is a beautiful secretary desk that we can use. And then there is storage at the bottom. So let me know what y'all think. I personally think she is perfect in here. I have the cabinet decorated, although I did not spend a lot of time on it because it is going to change. I have these three beautiful vintage quilts that are currently for sale on my website, but I'm glad I get to enjoy them for a little bit before they do. So I wanted to put them in here and what I'm going to do is I am going to start collecting white pottery and I'll insert a picture of kind of the look that I'm going for. And eventually that is what I want this piece to look like. Now on top of the cabinet, it is not quite finished either. I absolutely love this tree that goes all the way to the ceiling. And then I put this vintage frame with this vintage print. And I feel like on the other side, I need a piece of glass. I don't want something heavy. I don't want more greenery. So I just feel like a big vintage jar would be perfect. So I am going to be on the lookout for that. So right now I am just making do with the pieces that I have and enjoying my quilts until they sell. But I do have a plan for what I want this to look like in the future. I ended up thrifting this little chair at the Goodwill bins for two dollars and I thought it would just be perfect right here. I wanted a little chair to put here that way if we use the secretary desk we would have something to sit in and of course I had to put two baskets on the wall. I think they just fit perfectly right here. I purchased these floating shelves from Hobby Lobby. They were $17 but of course I got them you know 40 or 50 percent off they are 24 inches long so they are the same length as my cabinets on the end so i want to put two floating shelves on each side of the tv just to be able to decorate this space and add some decor however i do not want these shelves to stand out too much so a trick that i use all the time when i don't want my shelving to stand out is I painted the same color as my wall. So that is the plan. I am going to get these shelves painted and put up and then put up some decorations. I hung the floating shelves using the painter's tape method where you put the painter's tape on the back of your piece and mark where your hanging hardware is. And then you put it on your wall and make sure it is level. Then you know exactly where to drill the holes. And then since I was going to be painting the shelf, I just marked the bottom of the shelf where the hanging hardware was. And then that way it made it a lot easier to hang up on the wall. It actually went really great because sometimes hanging floating shelves can be rather difficult. I am pretty happy with how secure these shelves are. I feel like I could put my decor on here and not have to worry about it. I have it in a drywall anchor here and I actually have it on a stud on this side. But I wanted to give y'all another option. I love these braces. I have ordered them several times before on Amazon and have used them to create flo faux <laughs> floating shelves. So you would just clip them here and then put your piece of wood on top of it. And then I paint it the same color as my shelf in the wall and that way it just blends in. Like I said, I think I'm gonna keep these shelves as is. I feel like they are good and they are secure, but I just wanted to give y'all another option to do floating shelves. It is looking really good. I put a few pieces of decor up just because I wanted to make sure it was looking the way that I wanted to look and it is. You see how the shelves just kind of blend in and it's the decor that is really going to stand out and the shelves look good from the front. 
my issue is on the side even though i have them as tight as possible it still looks like they are leaning forward a little bit and i just don't think that i could live with that so i'm gonna go ahead and put one of these brackets in the center and that'll just kind of lift it up just the tiniest bit and make it absolutely level and of course i'll paint everything the same color so it'll just blend in i know if i don't do this is going to drive me crazy i want them to be level i want them to look level from not only the front but the side so i'm gonna do that but i am very excited about the way that is looking so far okay i think i'm finished decorating the shelves i could probably tweak this for days but at some point you just have to stop i definitely wanted to get pictures of my family up there and i decided to go with just all wood toned picture frames and then i felt like it needed something over the tv so do y'all remember that picture of that lady that i came home with from the estate sale she's still in there but i got this beautiful print from country lane living and i think it just looks perfect here so now i'm so happy that i ended up taking her home with me when decorating shelves i just try to kind of balance out the decor so you'll see i have a picture here and then here and here and then i just try to put lighter stuff on each side of it you just want to continue to play with it and tweak it until you like the way that it looks I love using metal baskets in my decor. You can just fill it with all kinds of cute stuff. So I have some vintage books, some driftwood. I have this vintage ruler and I forgot what y'all said this thing was, but I just love the look of it. And then I have these for sale on my website right now. I love these paper mache stars. They just add so much texture. And of course you need some glass and some greenery this piece i recently created on a thrift flip video and i loved it so much that i decided to keep it and i just put lots of vintage books and glassware and greenery when i'm doing greenery i usually pick like three or four kinds and just try to just use that that way it's not too much and i recently thrifted this harvest basket and this is a great mom tip. Try to have baskets in every room so you can easily just clean up and throw all the toys in there. And then about once a month, I'll go through the baskets and put all the stuff where they belong. My foyer is looking a little empty and a little sad at the moment. I did take down most of my Christmas decor, but I kept this Christmas print up because I didn't have anything to go in a spot. So. I just left it there. It is time for it to come down. And do y'all remember this long, pretty mirror that I thrifted a few weeks ago at an estate sale? I was gonna put it in my dining room, but I think this might be the perfect spot for it because you know, a mirror in a foyer just makes perfect sense. So let's get this mirror hung up and decorate this space. Okay, I got the foyer all finished up. I did make some artwork to put on this wall but i ended up not liking it so i'm definitely going to be on the hunt for something that i think would look good on that wall y'all this might be one of my favorite pieces in the room do y'all remember that blue handbag that i purchased and i wanted to take the handles off of it for a project this is that project i really wanted these dog wood floral so i made a custom drop cloth bag to put in it and it's perfect because it ties into i don't know if you can see but we have a dogwood tree outside that is currently blooming so be on the lookout for those outdated handbags take the handles and you can make the cutest little drop cloth bag right here i just have this new orleans print on a piece of slate hanging up and then my foyer table i didn't put too much on it that way if we actually you know wanted to use it and put stuff on it we would have room available so i just have a little basket you know put keys or change or whatever i always pick up framed artwork if i find it for cheap so that's what this was and then i just added a drop cloth background and put a clip and hung a family picture right there 
and I just added this glass jar with some greenery. I love the way it comes all the way up to the mirror right here and that little pelican. I just had to add him in and look at this hat. I love it and had to find a spot for it. I think it looks perfect on here and I had one decorative hook left. So I just went in my closet and grabbed a cardigan because I really wanted some texture and some fabric and I think it looks absolutely perfect right here. And then down at the bottom, I just put a little basket with a blanket, again, just for a little bit added texture and color. So I am very happy with the way that the foyer turned out, and I have no doubt I will find the perfect pieces to put on the other side. I have not really done anything to this space and like i said it is march and i still have the christmas curtains up so they have got to come down i've been on the hunt for fabric or a tablecloth or something that i like to diy my own cafe curtains actually this these christmas curtains all were a tablecloth that i diy into cafe curtains and i'll put a link to that video in the description below if you want to see how i did that however i have not come across anything that i really loved and i was looking on the internet and i found these they are by martha stewart they have this pretty blue and white print they're kind of semi sheer and they have this little tie detail that i absolutely love and i think they were like 18 dollars. not bad because you get the balance and the two curtains on the side and i don't have to diy anything i can just put them up I really like the way these curtains looked in the space. They were light and airy and it was a nice break from the drop cloth curtains that I have in the living room and dining room. It just helped define the space a little bit more having different curtains right here. I loved how the top of these curtains had a little tie. You could tie them in a bow if you wanted. I just decided to do a knot and let them hang down. These one gallon glass jars are definitely one of my favorite things to decorate with lately. And then I found this granary on Amazon. I like how tall the stem is. So that way you can leave it as is or you can cut it down like I'm doing to fit into whatever piece you have. Also, all the branches are made out of wire so you can bend them to go in whatever direction you want. I really love the sparseness. I think it looks perfect not only in this space, but I'm sure you noticed it previously in my videos. I ordered a few packs because I loved it so much. So I used it both in the living room and the foyer as well. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoy today's video. This room definitely took me a lot longer than I thought. Sometimes I forget that not only do the big items take a long time, but so does all the small stuff. And this room isn't 100% complete, but I think the most practical way to decorate a room is just to start off with the items that you have. And then you can see what else you need in the room. And also as you're thrifting and shopping, you will find items that you absolutely love. And then you can replace it with those items that you weren't crazy about. So don't feel like you have to have everything for room just to get started. Decorating takes time and hopefully eventually if you take your time, you will have a room filled with things that you absolutely love. Y'all leave a comment below and let me know what you love most about the space. I think for me, it is the big piece of furniture that I found because it just completed the space exactly like I knew that I would and I just absolutely love it. So once again, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope that it has inspired y'all to just start out with whatever you have and get up and decorate your home and make it beautiful. Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video. Mm -hmm.